Wine fountain, wine fountain. Mm, mm, Nine mm, in the morning, mm, wine fountain. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> As we leave Navarra and enter La Rioja, we cross a few classic landmarks on the Camino Frances. Sun-baked fields, grapes on the vine, and medieval hilltop villages shape the landscape as we inch closer to Santiago de Compostela. I'm Lainey. And I'm Sean. And this is Days We Spend. just past 11 a.m. and we are leaving Pamplona. We're gonna walk about 16 kilometers today, so gotta get out of here before it gets too hot. Ooh, that's pretty. Pamplona's really nice. Next time, I'm not gonna make it an errand city. It's gonna be a place to enjoy. Take a short day into Pamplona and enjoy it. If you detour off the Camino, like 100, 150 meters, you get a stamp from the university. It was very sweet and I recommend it. It's really well signposted, so as you're walking, just follow the signs. up to Alto del Perdon and it is hot and sunny. It's steep in some sections but not everywhere. Sean's dancing behind the camera right now. I can see it in your glasses. <laughs> The albergue here is great. Hospitalero was like, finish off this bottle of wine. <laughs> Why, well, I guess we will. Super pretty morning, just before sunrise, out here pretty much by ourselves. On the way to Via Tuerta, about as good as it gets. So while it's beautiful out and we're on flat grounds, realize we haven't really talked about some of the significant things that have happened in the walk the last few days. Yesterday we crossed over Alto del Perdon, which to me really signifies the end of the Pyrenees. All of a sudden you get to the crest of the hill and you're looking out over the rest of what you're gonna walk across. You're opening up into the kingdom of Navarra and you see your destiny where you're walking. It's just so magical to me. It makes that climb feel like an achievement instead of just an obstacle. To bring this back to today, 
We are leaving Uterga. So that was a delightful 16 kilometers to walk through Terga. You leave Pamplona in the afternoon, you'll only see a handful of people. It was great. <laughs> From Uterga, we're off stage. We're off of the classic stages. We are not staying where all the guidebooks typically recommend, which means this trail is basically to ourselves and we love it. That's a pretty rare occurrence on the Francais. <laughs> Thanks to Casa Bastan and Uterga. If you guys are in Uterga, stay there because it was rad. Breakfast was included, so we are caffeinated. All right, we gotta go. We gotta walk now. Nothing says Camino morning like walking up a steep hill in direct sunlight by the freeway and having pretty bad croissants. Buen Camino! <laughs> Bread. It's a bit stale. Another day, another sandwich. Old sandwich. Pocadillo town. You know it's day 30 something of walking because the 25 kilometers today went by like that. We were here at two o'clock. We've just been sitting in hammocks ever since. <laughs> He's been napping all afternoon. I remember really struggling here last time when we did this in 2017. My feet wanted to die with blisters and Achilles tendonitis. Feels good to be strong. Excited. Isn't that? We made it. People are watching Ooh, us drink it's at really 9 a.m. watered right? down. Notes of scallop shell, blisters, blood, sweat, tears. It is free wine should taste. Wow. 
Wine fountain, wine fountain. Mm, mm, Nine mm, in the morning, mm, wine fountain. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Famous wine fountain complete. Remember, just take a little bit. A lot of pilgrims have to share that 100 liters a day. It is right after Estea, so uh, I mean, early bird gets the worm. 9 a.m. on a very crowded time of year, and we had some wine. Prettier, it's got higher landscape value. <laughs> the forest trail. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a really good one. So it's really hot. We have about two kilometers left to San Sol. We're glad we didn't stay in Los Arcos, but leaving in the afternoon is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> We had a nice dinner. Morning walks are my favorite time of day. It's just so nice. They had an all night festival. It officially ended at 5.30. I could hear it last night at four. And then as we go through town, there's still like a dozen people wearing the like white shirts and red scarves trying to offer us coffee, which is just beer. <laughs> the bartender is still pouring beer for people while she's making coffee. <laughs> the only way that they stopped, it's almost eight, was that the, the like, dude got a fire hose and was cleaning the street and just spraying people. We're like 2% sad we didn't stay there because it would have been really fun. Yeah, 33 kilometers today is, I'm not sad. <laughs> I mean, it did look like a good time, but we can't be raging until now. That would be ridiculous. But they know what they're doing there. So if you're here in September and you want to rage, <laughs> Did you have a good morning?
Even I can smell it. So we're in Lagronio, a little after 12. We still have another like 12 kilometers to go, but first we're gonna get some pinchos for lunch because they're pretty famous here. We're going to the area of La Laurel and we're gonna find something good to eat. Mm. Coming out of Lagronio, it's actually a fair bit of shade. This pathway is like a bike lane and a walking lane and a lot of trees, a lot of benches, tree tree benches. So far so good. We'll see if I regret saying that later. My knee's kind of feeling yucky again, so I gotta slow down. That's never fun. Uh, 33 kilometers today is no joke. Refreshing. <laughs>